Hello. Um, this is Urban J. And I know my username says Mr. Suburban Artist, but um, I prefer to go by Urban J. Anyway, um, today I will be doing a tutorial on the first guitar of Dead Memories by Slipknot. Soon to follow, you will see the, um, the second guitar. And I probably will put the solo within the second guitar as so well. So, what you want to do first is, um, if you want to play with the song, you might want to tune your guitar down to uh, two and a half steps below um, drop D. So that means going from low E to high E, it will be B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. It helps, you, it helps to use a chromatic tuner because if you don't, then you don't really know if your if your F sharp is actually on F sharp or n not quite sharp enough. So I'm gonna start with the opener. Okay. So this opener is all rung out. What you you're gonna end up using all of your fingers. So um, right now I'm just gonna show you finger by finger, so you can see each note that I hit. But it is rung out, so you're gonna wanna keep them on there as long as possible. So you're gonna start off with um, five on the on what would be the low oh on the B on the B string. Start with that. You're going to go to 7 on the E string, and then you're going to go to 5 on the D, and then you're going to do that again, but instead of the 5 on the B, it's going to be 8 on the B, which is easier to use your pinky when you're doing the ringing out. And then you're going to back to the 7 on the E and the 5 on the D. And then up to 6 using your middle finger um, probably would be easier on the B and then 7 on the E. So all together, that's just one measure of the opener. All together it would be not rung out. This is what it sounds like not rung out. So that's the first measure. And so you're going to do the first set of three again. The first two sets of three again. So the five, seven, five, and the eight, seven, five. But instead of going six, seven this time, you're going to be at five on B and then five at D. So that, so when you're ringing out, it's best just to keep that, that um, index finger barred on the five fret. So when you're ringing out, it sounds like What I, that's what I've gotten to so far. So you're gonna do that, you're gonna do those two measures three times, a total of three times each. Um, each. So in that order. So you're doing that whole thing three times, but ringing out. So keep that barred. Once you finish that third time, you're gonna um, do this chord right here. It's five seven seven, starting on the B, um, starting on the B string, and then going to E and then going to A. Five seven seven, and then you're just moving down. Oh, it's gonna. If you listen to the song, um, do try to make the duration of the notes as long as you hear on the song. Alright, so it'd be it, um, going from 577 to 81010, and then down to 688. Alright, so it's. And then you're gonna um, just do taking off the last seven, so just do the five and the first seven on B and E, 
and palm mute um, quarter, uh, eighth notes for a whole measure, so eight of them. Alright, so from the beginning up until that point, it'd be like this. So that's essentially the opener, or well, most of the opener. And then those first two measures at the beginning. Those first two measures, you're going to do those um, three times, three and a half times actually. So you're going to, yeah, the half time obviously, the half of that rhythm would just be alright so you're gonna end on that so you're gonna go through you're gonna go through that three times and then you're gonna do one more measure and then back to the 5-7 chord alright and you're going to do that for two more measures. So that's a total of, um, you're going to go back to that and then do eight notes, eighth notes. So that's going to be a total of 16 eighth notes, all palm muted. All right. And essentially, you're going to be doing those first two measures from the beginning all over again. This time, they're going to be palm muted. And whenever, um, so you're going to go through the first measure. And because it's not palm muted, you can probably just not have to bar it and go through it like, like that. So you don't have to keep it barred down. And so uh, the second measure, anytime you hit, you hit uh, the five fret on D, that's going to be a semi pinch harmonic. So those first two measures are going to be. Not the best in harmonics either. There, there you go. That's what it's going to sound like. So you, there's going to be, since you hit it three times in that measure, it's. So you're doing those. So now that has, um, that rhythm has changed to, to those palm mutes and to the pinch harmonics. So now you're going to you're going to do those two measures a total of one, two, three, four times. A total of four times. So going from those eighth notes with the chord. variation on that. So now you're going to take the, the chord um, of the 5th fret on B and the 7th fret on E. You're going to strike that three times. So there's going to be... And then you're going to change that 5th fit, that, um, fit fret to 8th fret. And then you're going to hit that three more times. And then you're going to end that measure with two um, with two hits on sixth fret and seventh fret like this. So that whole measure is it's palm muted too. And so that's um, so the second part of that rhythm. So it's, it's just like the pinch harmonics in the other rhythm, except now you're doing, instead of going, uh, playing out the, the chord, instead of doing that, now you're just striking the chord twice, and then twice, and then 
then once, keeping that rhythm going. So that whole rhythm right there would be, and then that entire rhythm is played a total of four times as well. Quick side note, um, the third time you play that, you are going to go five, six, eight, not five, eight, six. So you go through that, and um, that's the end of the first verse. And now it goes into the pre-chorus. All right. So now we're moving, we're moving down the uh, the fret, the fretboard, and uh, you still everything in here is basically eighth notes up until the second verse. I'm just gonna merge these two for the sake of counting uh, what, um, purposes. I'm just gonna merge these two measures together. So. On the E string, you're going to go open, 3, 2. And then down to a pinch harmonic, 3, 3rd fret, on the B string. So here we go. Alright. And now um, you're going to use the chord. You're going to open on B and 2 on E. And you're going to play that uh, chord four times, and then you're going to go one, three, and three, starting on the E string. So one on E, th um, three on A, and three on D. You're going to play that seven times. So those are the first two measures. And so you're going to use that first measure again. And then you're going to go four more times on the chord of open in the two. And now you're going to go to the this chord, one, three, and three. But instead of seven times this time, you're going to do it only three times. And so on that middle three, the one on the A, you're going to do that one. And then you're going to go five on E, and then four, and then open on B. So all the entire pre-chorus is so all of that right there is going to be played twice, and then that leads you into the actual chorus. It's just mainly harmony. So we're going to keep this uh, shape right here for the um, basically the entirety of the chorus. So that's 15 on E and 17 on D. And then you're, um, you're dead noting the, you're dead noting the um, A string. So we're hitting that three times. And then you're sliding down one fret to the 14 and the 16. And then that's three times. And then you're sliding all the way down to the 10 and the 12 and only hitting that one twice and then sliding up, and that one's going to be three times. And when I mean three times, um, that note is going to be played three times. So when you're sliding, that right there is one note already. So you're going to hit it two more times, and then down, and that's one note, and then you hit it again, and that's the second note. Slide up, hit it two more times, slide down, and that, that one's going to be um, a total of three times again, and then back up. Um, for two more. So that entire first part is and you're sliding that all the way back up to the 15 and the 17 and then you're hitting that three times again down one more and then you, when you get to this part uh, the 10 and the 12 you're hitting that twice but instead this time you're gonna go down to the um, the tenth fret on D, and then open on the A, and that's gonna be three times, and then down to the nine on the D, and then still open on the A, and that three times, leaving um, two more notes for that measure, and that's gonna be fourteen and sixteen, and that's um, and then you, you repeat the first two measures again.
So the entire chorus is... <laughs> Repeat the first two measures again, and then uh, after that, you're gonna go down and keep. Um, you're gonna be on this chord. It's a three, five, and a five, starting on the B string, and then you're just going down um, one fret each time. As, and listen to the song for durations. And so, that those two measures sound like. So that's that two major. So the chorus is. And so um, now comes the interlude, which is essentially the same first two measures from the beginning, all ringing out again. do that first um, so it's gonna be a total of one and a half times just like when we were doing the interlude to the first uh, verse except now we're doing it ringing out so it's so that's the interlude right there and so now um, is where it comes you might want to work on alternate picking if you're not that great at it. This would, is a really good way to practice is the second verse because it's all 16th notes and so um, it's all 5, 6, a uh, 5, 8, and 6 um, on the B string. You're doing 6 fives, 6 eighths, and then 4 sixes. So it's gonna sound like Then comes the, the little bit tricky part. You're gonna go four fives, two eights, four fives, two eights, two fives, two eights. So um, it sounds exactly um, like the first verse. Those that quick part is like where the pinch harmonics were. So if you try to play that um, this second verse with the first verse, you can easily hear where you're supposed to be doing those um, those fast parts. So those two measures sound like like that. And so you're gonna do that um, one more time and then you switch it up. Instead of five eight six you're gonna go five six eight. So you're gonna go up. You're gonna just, the same, the same uh, split though. It's gonna be six fives, six sixes, and then four eights. And then you're just gonna go straight back to the other measure with the five and the eights like that. And then you use the same first two measures from the verse again, the five, eight, and six. So it's. Basically like that. It's hard to do it slow, <laughs> but once you get it, once you get it up to speed, it sounds, it goes uh, very smoothly with the first verse. So if you need to practice it that way to get timing down, I know that's what I did to get my timing down. So now going slow is a little bit harder. So it's. So after that, we go to the pre-chorus again. So just, um, you, you should already know the pre-chorus. If not, um, I'm going to move on if you need to rewind to go view the pre-chorus. It's at this time right here. And so just click that and or go back to that time. 
simpler. So, I'm moving on. Um, now, we are at the second chorus. So, the second chorus is basically the first chorus played twice. So, you just play everything that from the first chorus. And if you need a reminder on the first chorus, right here, right there, go to that time. All right, so the I'm just going to go right through it. That's the entire second chorus right there. Now after that um, is the interlude to this uh, guitar solo. So here we go again. It's one and a half times, just like the other interlude, and rung out too. Except this time, um, it's not going to be six seven at the end, like. Um, Every, everywhere else. This time it's going to be six zero. So it's, you're going to do the the one and a half times. So it's going to sound like that. And then you're going to do six and seven right here. The six on the B and the seven on the E. And then you're going to do six one time, seven twice, six one time, seven twice, six once, seven once. So it sounds like. And then there's going to be four measures of that. Except it's not going to be palm muted like that. In, if you feel the need to palm mute, try not to palm mute the seven. Because that's needed. That's, it sounds weird if you were to palm mute it. If you listen right now, it sounded weird. So um, only palm mute the six. And so after... Uh, after you do that four times, the guitar solo is going to kick in. And um, what you do for the guitar solo is basically the uh, pre chorus. And you're just going to do the first two measures two times. So. That's what you're going to do two times. So you do it one more time. And then um, after you do though, after you do that two times, the, just the first two measure two times, then you're gonna do the entire pre-chorus again. So all four measures. So say this was your was your second time doing the first two measures, and then you're gonna go into the entire pre-chorus again. Come this point, um, it's probably best not to use distortion because it's the breakdown or the bridge. And so, I'm gonna turn this up for you guys. And here, there are um, there are about three parts you can do, and but the one that's probably the basis for this entire bridge is what I'm about to teach you. And what I like to do is um, just finger the bottom note and pick the top note so you don't really have to um, dead note everything in between because then everything's not ringing out and you want this to sound soft and you know everything being rung out so what I'm gonna do here is the 8 on the high B string and then um, the open open on the E string and listen to the song to get timing it can get a little bit tricky so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go down to seven the high B, and also seven on the um, on the D string. And then after that, go eight on the F sharp string. So it should sound like that. That's the first measure. And then the next measure is eight on the low B string, 
and then 12 on the F sharp, and then 13 on the F sharp. You might want to um, not hit this bottom one so hard because it's really low, or, or probably turn your bass down. Um, so maybe build a little treble up, maybe a bit of, of the mid too, if you have one. And so after that low a, that the low B on the, with the A and then the 12 and the 13, go back to the beginning. And then you're gonna do 12 on the A and the D. And then go up one to the F sharp with, on 12 and then 13. So the entire, so that's the first half of the uh, bridge. times that you're doing the enti the entire bridge. So after you finish that um, the second time, it's gonna do. Start it one more time. And at this point, um, that's where the other guitar kicks back in with a distortion. You could too if you want to. They use the end of their chorus. But you can use the end of your chorus too, with the, which is. But it just um, it depends if you want to or not. That's all up to you. And then when I come into that, after that uh, bridge, it's just the same chorus again. It's the it's the same chorus as the second chorus, where you do um, the chorus twice or all the rhythms twice. So you go through it. <laughs> And then after um, that, that two times is done, then comes in the uh, the guitar solo, and I usually save that one for the other guitar again. So what you're gonna do is uh, just go through the cor uh, the chorus again, just but yeah. And this time when you end, this t uh, but you're only doing the chorus one time, one time. And so this time when you end. Slowing down a bit, and then that last note is just going to be held out. And that is my tutorial on the first guitar of Dead Memories by Slipknot. Um, please like and favorite this video. Please subscribe. And come back soon for the next guitar.